What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to episode 2 of the Peyton Manning Offense, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the levels passing concept, and, and this is probably Peyton Manning's favorite passing concept uh, to use. Um, we're going to take a look at how he uses it best. Um, it can be found, we're in the Denver Broncos uh, playbook, it can be found... Uh, and a couple of his formations here, uh, we're going through here, we'll find uh, a single back dice slot. And the, the play we're going to be looking at is levels divided. And we've broken down this play a couple of times, but uh, it's a staple of, of Manning's offense. You see it all the time, and uh, you saw it a lot more with Indy. Um, and anyways, let's hop into this. So the first read on this play, uh, the only adjustment we have to make on this is we're going to put Demarius Thomas on a smart route of that route. And basically what we're going to be looking to do here is split the zone defenders on the left or attack the curl flat concept on the right. Now the only way that this can be stopped, um, the levels concept that is, is with a cover three coverage. So we're going to look at a cover three and that's why we set up the curl flat. Uh, Manning likes to have a curl flat read on the right side opposite of the levels so he has two different passing concepts that beat every coverage in the game. So you see here, uh, the only read we have to make is whether or not the slot on the left gets pressed. If he does get pressed, we're going to hit uh, X, or we're going to hit uh, B. So if it's a, if it's a zone, uh, we're going to hit X. Okay, so you see we can hit him for an easy game. If it is man coverage, then that means that they're both going to get bumped. So here, Decker and Welker will get pressed. And that means that we're going to be able to hit our out route on the right side. So you see, very easy uh, read there. All right, and that's what's so effective about this concept. And uh, here we'll look at just a regular stock two-man under, and we're going to be able to hit Decker or Wes Welker at the po at the top of his cut here. So you see, man, okay, and I can hit Welker when he cuts to the inside, which is great because it really allows us to read the defense for, uh, based off of one route. Cover zero blitz in this situation. He doesn't get pressed, so we know Welker will be open, and it's just uh, it's just all it all works together, which is great. Now let's take a look at cover two coverage. We're just going to cycle through these uh, real quick. Cover two probably gives it the most trouble. Um, uh, cover two gives a lot of stuff trouble, but if you know they're in cover two, we're going to show you a concept later on in the uh, in the Manning offense that really can destroy it. But you see, no pressed, and we can hit him at the top of his break. Um, another thing we can do with that, because um, sometimes that cornerback, it, it's a, it's not an open throw, so that's why we don't like to throw it if we don't have to. So we're going to wait just a second longer, and you're going to see Wes, uh, or um, Decker here come right underneath Wes Welker, and it's gonna, that's the level's concept, having uh, a split, being able to spacing, uh, properly space the zone defenders so that your routes uh, come underneath one another and uh, it forces the defense to have to adjust. You see, it's just a late read. Now, one thing that you can do to speed this level's concept up is just put Eric Decker on a drag route. And now he's going to go a little faster underneath. So he's going to get a harder cut underneath, allowing us a much easier uh, timing on that window. Which is great. Um, and then lastly, I wanted to show you uh, what happens if they call cover to sync. So cover two sink, um, obviously the curl flat will not be open, uh, but Eric Decker uh, will be open underneath, and this time it's awesome because he doesn't get pressed, so it's going to be even better. Also though, the way this passing concept works off one another is if the linebackers jump underneath, then you have triangle coming in and behind it. So a situation like a cover four here, what should happen is that yellow zone for the cover four should suck down. And in a nutshell, what we're going to be able to do is hit Welker over the top of the cover four. So here we go. And we see they come down and properly hit Wes Welker going over the top. And that's how we can use uh, this levels concept and mix it with a curl flat read um, to effectively move the ball and, and continue moving up the field easy gains. Remember some keynotes from this video. Basically, you're just reading if Wes Welker gets pressed or not. If he gets pressed, um, then your next read is going to be to see if Square, or excuse me, to see if um, X gets pressed, Eric Decker. Here we see he doesn't get pressed. That means we can easily get him the football. Okay? If Eric Decker also gets pressed, that means that it's a man coverage front, um, most likely a two-man under. Here they both get pressed, and so we can work the curl flat read on the right side of the screen. So guys, thank you for watching today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope it can help you out. If you have any further questions on this concept or the one I discussed previously, the slants, 
please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you guys tomorrow.